everyone, welcome to Math Wizards 123. In this week's videos, we're going to be discovering how to find the mean, the median, and the mode of a data set. This video, I'm going to start by showing you how to find the mode, which is the number that occurs the most. So let's take a look at this set of data. This is a set of numbers that came from the California Lottery website showing all of the winning numbers for the Mega Millions game during the month of July. So if I were going to play the lottery, I would want to choose numbers that show up <laughs> in the winning set of numbers as often as possible so that I can try to win. So looking at all of this data, we can look and see, do we find any numbers that are occurring more than once? So I'm just kind of looking along to see. And then as soon as I hit here, I can notice that the number 56 repeats. So that's a number that occurred more than once. And then again, down here, I noticed the number 68. That happened during the week of July 3rd, as well as the week of July 13th. And then also the number two. Okay, this had also repeated from the week of July 6th. So if I take, if I'm trying to play the game and I want to choose my numbers, I might pick one of these three numbers because they're obviously happening again and again as we look at the winning numbers. So the mode, I would say, for this set of data is 2, 56, and 68. Now sometimes there can be two modes, sometimes there can be three modes, as long as the numbers are tied with how many times they show up. There can also be no mode. So if you're looking at a set of numbers and there aren't any numbers that are repeating, then we would say there is no mode in this data set. But this data set, we have the mode of 2, 56, and 68. So those might be three numbers I might choose from if I were going to play the lottery. So I'm gonna show you a card game that you can play with your family and friends. All you need is a deck of cards. And what happens is I'm going to just lay out my hand and we'll play so that you can see what, what uh, my score will be in each hand. And then when you play with your family, again, each person will be searching for their own mode each time you're dealing a new set on the table. All right, so the dealer is going to deal out five cards to each person. I'm just gonna show you my cards. Now one way you can search for the mode in any set of numbers is by putting the numbers in order from least to greatest because then this helps you to see the numbers sitting side by side that are occurring more than once. Now in our card game, we're going to have, when we come to the face cards, we're going to say jacks are worth 11, queens are worth 12, and kings are worth 13. And then the aces, we're going to treat these just like the number one. So in my hand, my mode is six. So if I have the highest mode out of all the players that are at the table, I win that round. And I would just put six points uh, on a tally sheet. Whoever's keeping score for the game would put six next to my name. Okay, so I'm going to just try four more hands here so we can practice together and then here we have I can see that I have a pair of twos so since the number two is repeating and it's the only number that's repeating in this hand my mode is two however if somebody who's playing with me has a mode of six they would win that that round okay so this hand my mode is two let's try again and this time I don't see any numbers repeating. So I would say that my mo I do not have a mo. There is no mode in my hand. So my score then would be zero for this hand. Let's try it again. Whoa. <laughs> Too bad I'm not playing poker right now. <laughs> that would be a good hand. So again, because my the number nine is repeating not just once, not just twice, but three times. I'm still just going to say that the mode in this in this set is nine. So as long as nobody else has a pair of jacks or queens or kings, 
um, for a higher mode, I would be the winner of this round. So if you would like to join in with me and play this game together through a live stream, I will be showing up tomorrow at 3 p.m. right here at Math Wizards 123. So please come in, join in, and each person that is playing along for the 10 minute game, uh, you will earn a ticket into the raffle for the Starbucks gift card, which I will announce this Friday. All right, I hope to see you here. Remember, 3 p.m. tomorrow. Bye, guys.